Regular IdeaPad laptops can sometimes be good for content creators, but you have to be really lucky for that to be the case. This is where the IdeaPad 5i Pro series comes in, which is tuned for performance and content creation, with better displays and more powerful hardware. The latest 2022 model carries Alder Lake H-Series processors and ARC graphics, which can be a potent pairing. On the outside, the laptop is a charmer, with a fully aluminum chassis that weighs 1.95 kg and is only 17mm thick, despite having a large 16-inch panel on the front. The design is simplistic, with sharp edges, round corners, and next to no branding around the entirety of the device. The lid is a bit flimsy, but the base is rather sturdy. The keyboard setup here has a numpad, along with well-sized keys. The key travel is shorter, thanks to the slim profile, but the feedback is clicky, making it comfortable for typing. The touchpad has a large surface area and is covered in mylar, which does its best glass impression, being smooth and accurate. The I.O. coverage is pretty decent, offering you everything besides a LAN port. There are two full-sized USB ports, two Type-C ports, one of which has Thunderbolt for support, an HDMI 2.0 port, an audio jack, and an SD card reader. On the front, we're greeted by a 16-inch IPS panel with QHD plus resolution and a 16-10 aspect ratio. It has two versions with either 60 or 120 Hz refresh rate. The panel has great viewing angles for when you're watching movies, a max brightness of 337 nits, which is totally usable when outside. As this is a pro model, the panel also shows 90% sRGB coverage and accurate colors. And if you'd like them to reach almost professional levels, get our display profiles from the link in the description below the video. With an H-Series CPU, you need a beefy battery to power the laptop. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Thankfully, Lenovo includes a 75 watt hours battery pack, which lasts for 13 hours and 2 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 37 minutes of video playback when paired with a Core i5 12500H and no discrete GPU. When compared to other similar notebooks, the Core i5 12500H performs well, despite the limitation of the 100 watts power adapter. It scores higher than a lot of CPUs from last year but struggles to keep up with the Core i7-1280P inside the MSI Prestige. The Iris Say Graphics G7 with 80 execution units is nowhere near the level of a discrete GPU, but this is where the ARC A370M comes in. Sadly, so far we haven't been able to secure a notebook with it, but we are working on it. The laptop is cooled by two heat pipes, two fans, and two heat sinks, with an additional metal heat spreader covering the VRMs. The CPU clocks up to 3.5 GHz in the short load. In the long run, the speeds drop to 3.17 GHz, with a constant 60 watts power draw. As for temperatures, the Core i5 heats up to 84 degrees Celsius. In terms of comfort, due to the lack of a discrete GPU, the fans don't have to work overtime, resulting in lower noise levels. As for the base, with a hotspot of 47 degrees Celsius, it is a bit warm, which might get warmer for models with the ARC A370M. If you want to learn how to disassemble the laptop, check out our teardown video. However, don't plan to do a lot of work on the inside, as the memory is soldered and there's only one M.2 PCIe X4 slot, which offers support for Gen 4 drives. Furthermore, the laptop offers only up to 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM. The IdeaPad 5i Pro is a good option for content creators, but we have some advice for Lenovo that can improve it. They might want to include a larger power brick and a slight tune to the cooling, maybe one more heat pipe. Then we would have a serious contender to the Prestige 15, because, as of now, the MSI machine has this one beat to a pulp. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.